executive and life coach Abiola Cham. So let me together I'll be discussing side, side hustle. hustle. Good morning, Cham. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to be here today. You know, Ross, what when you, you go today, talk true. No, you see, uh, two of my favorite people are getting married today. So I see. Now I'm sharing part of their dowry, you know, part of the dowry coming from the guy today. Are you the uncle? I, I call her my cousin. So shout out to Tola and Theo on your wedding today. Wow, congratulations. 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 I'll be with you soon. Okay. Okay, so. Side, side hustle. Is, yes. that, is that part of your side hustle? Yeah, I think it's part of the side hustle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you MC at weddings, sir? Okay. You're just going to collect dowry okay. as a side hustle. So I, I MC at weddings, at okay. birthdays, yeah, yeah, at yeah, top events. Somewhere. No, but this one I'm not MCing there. I'm just You're just going, going there to collect. I'm just going to have a great time and okay. also to collect my percentage of the dowry. Dowry. I see. I should, I mean, I, I should, because of my affinity with Okay, Bella, let's talk about married. side hustle. You yes. know, when we are uh, pre-chatting about this conversation, you talked about, um, you know, the boss are feeling bad that um, employees are doing other stuff and not um, giving their 100% and contribution and commitment to work. Mm. But is that always the case? Okay. Um, the, the root of side hustle mm. is the need to have multiple streams of True, income, yeah. True. which is great, which is a good thing. Um, so that we don't just focus on one source, mm -hmm. and it also depends on how big that source is, by the way. Okay. Um, that channel yeah. is. It you depends on how big that channel is. Yeah. Uh, there are some people that you don't even need to bother about side hustle, you know, mm -hmm. because okay. because you are okay, you're all right. <laughs> even at that, it's yeah. also still good to explore other opportunities. True. Mm -hmm. But what what we want to do as uh, professionals, people working in different organizations, is for us to always remind ourselves that we owe a primary duty to the organization where we are earning our primary income from. Mm -hmm. By the way, even when you want to start a side hustle, you, you may need some, some, mm -hmm. some, mm -hmm. some cash to start. True. And that cash, you're actually generating it from the income mm -hmm. you're making income. from the organization. Yes. But for, for the most part, professionals, there are people rather who just blank out and all they're thinking of is the side hustle mm. uh, without thinking of the, the continuous progress of the organization that they mm. are working. True. So the concern on the part of the employer is this thing this person is doing, is it, am I getting as much as I should get from this individual? The concern on the side of the employee is, man, this take home is not taking me home, so I need some more. <laughs> And, yeah. and so there are some organizations that in their policy, they have it in their policy that you cannot have side hustle. You mm -hmm. cannot do any other thing. There are some organizations that have it in their policy, their HR policy, employee um, handbook, mm -hmm. that yes, you can do any, you can have any other interest, but there should not be conflict of interest for one. Then two is if you have any interest, declare it. Mm -hmm. But people do it. And, and the danger of this is, even if you don't get caught and you're smart with it, uh, one of the things I always like to rem remind us is the law of sowing and reaping. Mm -hmm. Because the same thing you're doing in this organization with the excuse that the take-home is not taking you home and you're not mm -hmm. following the policy, the same thing will happen to you somewhere down the line. Okay. So what should you do? One, try and find out. Uh, keep yourself abreast of the policy of the organization. Mm -hmm. um, if you're supposed to declare, please say and let people know. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not supposed to, I mean, th there's a friend of mine that uh, is an on-air personality somewhere, mm -hmm. and he said that uh, they review the clause, and part of that review is that he can't even stand up anywhere to talk. Mm -hmm. You know, that because of, I mean, the network, because it's a very huge network, big network mm -hmm. in Nigeria, that they cannot even stand anywhere to talk, even in his church, that um, mm. for him to, to MC an event in his church, that he needs to obtain permission. But again, it's just about knowing how things work mm. and seeing how flexible that we can be you know, with it. That's just my thought. Okay, I want, to, uh, want us to look at it from the labor um, law angle, saying that HR can actually bring up, bring up policies and the rest. But are we gonna say is legally wrong to have a side hustle? You know, so it depends on the policy of the organization. I know. You know not, not about, this is not about legality now. I know. It depends on the policy of the organization, and it is always clearly stated mm -hmm. in the offer letter or an addendum somewhere down the line. Mm -hmm. It is always stated in the offer letter that you cannot do this, or if it's not in the offer letter, it will be in an employee handbook mm -hmm. that, the, um, that the employee would get upon onboarding from getting into the organization okay but what if in a situation whereby you are in a profession whereby you have a body 
that, that actually sits and coordinates the affairs of your organization. Let's take the broadcast industry, of course. Mm -hmm. We have the NBC who, who takes charge of what goes on between, you know, and um, there's some policies there. And then some of the policies are actually not against you having a side hustle, but mm -hmm. maybe your organization, so that's why I was trying to say that the situation whereby maybe you have legal approvement in mm -hmm. a way, and that your company says, how do you handle it as a person? Okay, so it still boils down to the organization that we're working. Okay. Let us note this, there is the organization, there mm -hmm. is the industry. Mm -hmm. The body is always about the industry, which mm -hmm. the organization belongs. But the organization can also have their unique ways of running their business. Style, so far, yeah. it doesn't negate the provisions, the primary provisions of, of the body that they belong to or the regulator, mm -hmm. you know, that, they are, that, that is supervising that mm -hmm. industry. So what to do is, um, at times as, as um, employees, we also deceive ourselves, mm -hmm. right? So you are in this organization and you know this thing will not work in this organization. Mm -hmm. It is just better that you don't do it in that organization. You can start to look for another opportunity somewhere else that it can be allowed. Mm -hmm. And what even shows that you have integrity as an employee mm -hmm. is you, you, you ask at the stage of interview, for example, mm -hmm. you can ask that, Okay, so uh, this is my primary assignment there, here, and I will deliver on this. But I also have this interest. So far, it is not supporting competition. Mm -hmm. So far, it is not taken out of the time that you're supposed to put in the organization. I think it, it's okay. okay. It's okay to do. So bring it up. Yeah, some organizations will frown at it. But what you want to know is keep yourself abreast of the policy of your organization and work based on it. And when they frown at it, what would you suggest? Resign or try to reach um, some level of agreement with them? Okay, so again, all of those things, they are not cast in stone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It depends on your level of productivity in that organization. Okay. If you're a high flyer, for example, if you're delivering well, and you're saying you have this other interest, nobody will, nobody will stop you. I mean, think about it, you know, when we were growing up, mm -hmm. if you are doing very well in class, and now and you're playing football, not now, it's then, because <laughs> nowadays it is both football and, um, you know, because both, both makes money now. Mm. Anyway, then if, if you're doing very well in, in class and then you have another hobby, music, sports, mm. whatever it is, so far you're doing very well, your parents will likely support you. Yeah. Mm. If you're not doing well in that and you're only concentrating on this, then mm. you will get, you know, you'll face mm. the wrath of your parents. So it's the same thing in the workplace, mm. that if you're a high performer in the workplace, any other thing you want to do is just as easy. Okay, fine. Well, we're almost out of time, but just before we go now, are there, I'm sure there are benefits, uh, you know, uh, to um, side um, hustles. Can you just elaborate on why you think um, most people should indulge in side hustling? Side hustle is key. The primary advantage of yeah. side hustle is multiple streams of income. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another advantage of side hustle is that we tend, to, we get to use some of our skills that perhaps our our nine to five is not allowing us to, yeah. to use, yeah. we can use it there, and even still develop some more skills that we apply to nine to five. Okay. So uh, you're, you're working here as, as a presenter, as a broadcaster, you know, for mm. example, that is your regular nine to five. Maybe you have some other interest somewhere in agriculture, in, in whatever other industry that can even still enhance what it is you're doing here mm. for the organization that the organization will benefit from it. So let's take, for instance, and there's a documentary that the organization wants to shoot, uh, wants to produce, uh, rather, wants to produce in, in that sector. Mm. Because you have some knowledge, practical, mm. hands-on experience on it, you can properly guide the organization to doing it. So yeah. three benefits, basically, and I'm sure there are more. One, multiple streams of income. Okay. Two, the fact that we have the opportunity to use our skills in other places. Three, because it brings benefit back into the organization. And for the person, that wants to have a side hustle and maybe your organization is frowning at it, what you want to do is to let the organization see the value that is even bringing into the organization as well. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants what benefits them. Mm -hmm. Everybody give value first. Everybody wants what benefits them. So but you shouldn't you allow your side hustle affect the primary no, your no, no. production. You, should, no, you shouldn't do that. Productivity. All right, thank no. you so much. All right. thank you. Let me, uh, I'm afraid this is as much as we can take on this particular segment and indeed uh, the show for today. Uh, thank you, thank you, Abiola Sam Cham Salami. I was going to say Sam. <laughs> Abiola Cham Salami <laughs> is the business executive and life coach. Uh, we do appreciate this. Uh, so, side hustle. Thank mm. you so much. Mm. Mm. You. If you can, if you should, then do it. Uh, my name is uh, Justin Akadonye. And of course, I am Uche Onyekoji. Do have a wonderful Thursday.